you stand there. We're gonna do. We're trading places. Do you want to switch? Yeah, to? yeah. Hey guys, Lex Dahl here. And I'm Matt Tracy. From Punk Rock Blues. It's day nine. Is, uh, wait, is this time? Yes, it's day nine. Day nine. Day nine. That's tomorrow. <gasps> what? It's tomorrow. We really gotta catch up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why we gotta do it. Day nine. Day nine. You know that song? No, but I do know the song where it's like, day nine? Tech nine? <laughs> that's the one that's like, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Day nine. Day nine. And we're watching. We're watching trading places with... Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, and Denim Elliot. Yeah. Also, Jamie Lee Curtis. I just want to get Denim his name in there because he's my favorite actor out of this whole thing. He said that. Yeah, he was fucking fantastic. Oh, they even put the they even put that on the back. Wow, that's crazy. That's so weird. Yeah. What's the story? Uh, you want me to take it? Yeah. Well, first, let's do the background. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's from 1983. Yeah. I was a little surprised this so early. It's 86. It's his second movie ever. Eddie Murphy's. Oh, sorry. A, I didn't say his name. It's Eddie Murphy's second oh, role so ever. He went from, I thought you meant Jim Belushi. No, sorry. Yeah, he went from <clears throat> 48 Hours yeah. and then this. And then he did a movie called, uh, I can't remember. I'd never heard of it before. It's like Make Benefit or something like mm. that or Benefit Defense, something like that. Okay. It's got him and Dudley Moore. But then immediately after that, he was in Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. So it's like, it was just, a, and then after, you know, his career. One of his best. <clears throat> yes. And then Dan Aykroyd, he was already famous. Yeah. But then, yeah, so you want me to take the story? Yeah, take the story. All right, so basically, it's about uh, Winthorpe, who, that's Dan Aykroyd, and yeah. he's a rich, successful man. He works as a stockbroker or some yeah. shit like that. And he works with Mortimer and Randolph Duke, and the they are two rich, old, crusty men, and just they make... Just the good old boys. <laughs> they mean some harm. And uh, they make a wager for the usual. And, you know, they make a wager to say that they can get... Well, first they meet um, Valentine, who's Eddie Murphy. He's a homeless man. Can I take man. the story? No, listen. Just, okay. and You're bumbling this. <laughs> so anyways, they make a wager to say that Dan Aykroyd will become poor and Eddie Murphy's character will become rich and Wait, they'll swap no, them. They'll trade the places. That Dan Aykroyd, if <clears throat> thrown into terrible situations, would resort to crime. Yes. Yeah. And so they make this wager, and they trade places, and it happens. It does happen. That's and what then the movie... Jamie Lee Curtis shows up and shows her boobies. A lot. Yeah. There's a lot of boobies in this. I don't yeah. even remember. There's the one part at the Valentine's house where yeah. just, they're just dancing. And then, yeah, like, people yeah. just took them. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. What's There's your at least six different boobs in this. It's a comfy slipper. Uh, well, my rating... I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. So listen... This is was a five star movie for me, okay. um, but rewatching it, there's a lot of homophobia. There's not that much homophobia. There's three different lines. I didn't see there's it. also a lot of racist undertones. Yeah. Maybe I mean that's, that's maybe a point of it, but yeah. still no, terrible. It's definitely the point of it. <clears throat> and then the big thing, there's blackface. Didn't remember that. Yeah. So this draws it down. I'm giving it only four. Calling. calling birds. It's weird that Dan Aykroyd because does Because it's just, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. You did his um, hands. No one talks about black hands. I know. So, what's your rating? You know, famously in WKK, for Dear Black People, they did black hands. Huh. They did it as a black guy. Okay. I'm giving it four calling birds pretty much the exact same thing you said. I'm not going to take the racism into account because it's the plot of the movie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the black face is... It's one of those things where <laughs> I didn't remember Eddie Murphy's it. character probably came up with it. You know, it's, one, it's like the Chris Rock, Chris Fa Jimmy Fallon thing where everyone's like, oh, you can't do blackface. Yeah, but Chris Rock gave him permission. You know that Eddie Murphy okayed this technically, but still, it's it's, it's for the character, weird. for what the character stood for at the start, and then and for him to resort. Really, yeah, it didn't really, he could have, nobody recognized him with the Santa beard on, just yeah. put on a beard. That's more... Un you just painted your face. You look like Dan Aykroyd still. You yeah, know? but Meeks didn't catch it. He, yes, he did. Not, you're right, because of the briefcase then. He wouldn't have caught it. I don't know. So, let's go anyway. into the review, the story, yeah. the more of the, the whole plot. The details. The yes. details. We got over the... Yeah. We're also not going to talk about the director. You maybe see I did not put his name. Just uh -huh. because I don't like saying, talking about him, really. This is before he killed those kids, but, uh, yeah. Then we're going to drop it. John Landis, if you want to look at really kill any kids. I it's it. just a weird thing. He, he Matt, basically I think Roger killed a guy. Got, We're not going to reveal. He basically got off innocent, and he felt no guilt, 
Matthew Broderick, that has haunted him. For Thanksgiving next year, we're not going to watch no Ferris Bueller because, oh, he killed a guy. No, because Ferris watch, Bueller, uh, it haunts him. You talk about Jeepers Creepers every other update. Yeah, and that guy's terrible. Tim Allen, we had a channel named after him. He didn't kill anyone, but he was he's a, a narc. He's a narc. He's a narc and a dick. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy Allen dick, the more you know. We are totally side rails. Yeah, yeah. Back <laughs> to training places. So, yeah. I want to say this these to get really comfy. <clears throat> they are, yeah. These are my new foot pillow. I'll just stand on these. Jesus. I really, really like Coleman. He is yeah. Dan Aykroyd's butler at the start, and then Eddie Murphy's. And, and then no one's butler, because he has his own yeah, butler. Yeah, then he becomes yeah. his own. Spoiler yeah. alert for a very old movie. Yeah. It's from 83. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's... I don't know what it is about it. He just... <laughs> he gives a really magnetic performance. Just... He's always, like, in the background behind people, just being like... Scumbag. Not that bad. You know, but he just he has these He's funny facial expressions and yeah, stuff. Conan's and always doing the. Yeah. Not Conan. Conan has two characters, as you famously say. Yeah. He's, but he, he has, he has He's the, the old timey guy and then the yeah. Irish farmer. Yeah. The old timey guy is the same joke. There he goes, oh, you know, we used to, used to have a phone that we were calling. Or, you know, his, his joke is uh, when I started, which was back in the days of radio. That's yeah. this one joke that he uses for everything. Well, there, I saw it recently, this is another sidetrack, but recently I saw a thing on Twitter is Conan, every time he has a comedian do jokes on the show, and as soon as they're done, he was yeah, like, oh yeah, it's hilarious, that it's was hilarious. hilarious, yeah, every single comedian, hey, that was hilarious, yeah, I uh, just sent that to you. Okay, it's a train place, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we watched this one with our dad yeah, again, this again. Week. was this the third we've watched with him now? Did we watch a Christmas one with him this year? We watched Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Then? And then we watched Planes, Trains, and All Bills. Yes. That Thanksgiving special. Okay. Go check that out if you didn't. Planes, Trains, and All Bills review. Yeah, watch these. Watch these. They're not getting so many views. They're good. Uh, the So, there's a part... I guess, are we just doing... You're talking about anything? Yeah, out of order? that's what we always okay. do. Okay. So, oh, the I mean, bit on the train where... Yeah, the famous bit, I guess, with the gorillas and the yeah. apes and stuff. Um, J that's Jim Belushi, according to Jim. And it's... I think he got that role. He was 29 at the time. Yeah. He got that role, I think, because John Belushi died the year prior. Yeah. So Dan Aykroyd was like, hey, remember when your brother died? Come work with me. You know? Remember when your brother died? You know, my wife died a year ago. Do you remember when it rained? Yeah, yeah, Josh, I do. My wife died what a year ago. What is that? It's, it was <laughs> just that article about I know, 30 songs about wish, rain. I wish we knew what it was. I just told you what it was. But could we find it? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Okay. My wife died last year on Christmas, and I need to get over it by a trip to Colorado, <laughs> and now I'm over it. <laughs> also, my well, that's funny a coincidence because my husband died last year on Christmas, and I'm then going to not, die also on my way to. Them. Now he is a snowman <clears throat> in our front yard. A lot of movies about people dying last year on Christmas. Yeah. Trading places. Uh, speaking of Christmas, I really oh, yeah, like about the apes. You didn't finish the grill. Oh, thing. it was just the thing about Jim Belushi. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we did mention that this is maybe the least Christmassy movie. Yeah, not really though, because I think Holiday Special is worse. Yeah, off. definitely. And Die Hard Two didn't have as much of a Christmas feel as the first one. I said. Yeah. Uh, but this one, you know, they said Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas a lot. It was. A, it's actually it was, kind of a New Year's movie. It's yeah, very it's much way a New more Year's New movie. Year's. Because besides the Santa drunk scene. It really doesn't Jamie play Lee into Curtis it. has a Christmas tree, tree yeah. and she has the sign up right when they walk in, and you know. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I always think about the famous bit at the start where Eddie Murphy <clears throat> has no legs. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, I was Every, just about to say this that. This is the part. movie. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call this out, and I think it's true. Yeah. This might be the movie where there are no bad cops. I like every single cop in this movie. Maybe the Angel Dust guy's a little weird, but I like <laughs> yeah, every I like single him. performance like of every him. cop. Yeah. The first two cops, <clears throat> and then there's the, the two guys that interrogate uh, Louis, or I don't know if it's interrogation, but they get him to strip. They're really funny. Yeah. PCP guys are kind of weird, but he's alright. The two PCP other guys. PCP guys the best. All the cops that show, showing the gun on him. That's PCP. The Angel, Angel Dust. Dust. You know what this <laughs> stuff does to kids? PCP, phenocyclidine, angel dust. You ever seen what this stuff does to kids? 
Uh, I liked every single cop in this movie. Yeah. The 80s version of Corey and Trevor from Trailer Park Boys are... Yeah, I love those two guys. Uh, the two big handlers. handlers. Oh, man. I they're, mean, if you watch Trailer Park so Boys, good. watch this. I mean, they have nothing in common, but they are Corey and Trevor. They're so good in this. <laughs> um, I really like... I dressed as a baggage handler. Yeah, you know how shocked I was to find someone else at this party is dressed as the same thing as I. I really like Eddie Murphy's performance in this. Yeah. I think he gives a really great one. Because he goes from um, poor to... A, you know, a, a rich man, a dumb but he, wit, but he doesn't understand. But then, as soon as he understands, he's just excellent. Killing it, yeah. And the, his transition through, like, when he's like invites all those people over to the yeah. party, and then as he's sitting there, like, he's like, "Wait a second, you're is ruining that, my stuff." The base and, is thirty five thousand yeah, dollars. Like, and, um, you want me to break? But some? then, even he still has like he's still the funny man of the movie. I think he's yeah. more funny than Dan Aykroyd in this. But Dan Aykroyd, he's doing such a posh thing for yeah. so long. Yeah. He's upper class posh. And so Eddie Murphy, even like towards the end when like it's wrapping up, he still like steals the one joint and like puts yeah. it in his pocket. Like I thought that was very funny. And then, oh my God, Randolph and Mortar dropped the hard R out of nowhere. I was like, whoa, forgot about that. Yeah, but back in the day, it wasn't I know. Out of but nowhere. even Eddie Murphy's facial yeah. expression, where he's like, <laughs> like, I was like, whoa, forgot about that. Yeah, crazy. Jamie Lee Curtis is also really good in this. I really like her Sweden character. Yeah. She's Swedish. <laughs> it's Dude. me from Sweden. But do you have? But do, do you, you like football? <laughs> we like football in Sweden. But you have Lederhosen on. Lederhosen. Yes, Swedish. Lederhosen. I hardly knew her. <laughs> no, wait, I can make that better. Okay. Lederhosen. I hardly knew her. Hosen. Leave that, <laughs> leave that whole silly gap in. Um, there's a scene to sidetrack again yeah. uh, in a video I was in for okay. Boston where Boston says, uh, tell my lawyer, uh, or I wanted to give everything to my cat, call my lawyer. And I go, lawyer, I hardly knew her. This is a uh, potato factory. Yeah. Not potato factory, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah quest for the... No, that's uh, that's how to make slime. I play, oh, okay. I play a male prostitute. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we don't say I'm a male prostitute, but I like to envision that I'm a male okay. prostitute. I'm actually an epic gamer, but I'm a male prostitute on the, on the, on the at night time. <laughs> it was the first video we shot with the, this camera, because it's oh, a night okay. vision. The video's a night vision. It's not very good, but I like my part. I actually skip his part, because I don't like it. <laughs> it's just how to make slime, and then he, kill, he tries to kill me with it, but it bounces back and ricochets. Is that and, the one I was in? No. Okay. You're in the Toby. You're in the Toby Cool videos. Yeah. This is just me. I play like Epic Gamer sixty nine Quest. Yeah. You want to see those? <laughs> I don't know. Pivotal what his Spectacular something right now. I thought it was Heckin Media. Pivotal. No, he changed to the Spectacular Pivotal something. I remember when we changed from my sandwich to the Punk Rock Blues. Google was like, "Don't change your account too often, because they will ban you. Well, you can only change it a couple times." He's changed it like a dozen. <laughs> like, They're not good. They're getting worse. <laughs> Potato Factory was so good. <laughs> and Pivotal is fine, I guess, but it's not great. So, Trading Places. Yes. Um, we can cut so much. I'll leave a bunch in, I guess. I I really like this movie. It's hard to... When do you like stuff? Yeah. It's hard to talk about it. Yeah. Because you just we'll have a that. good time yeah. for the movie, so you can't like, single things out. how many times? Dad, so didn't, Dad didn't know I'd seen it. How many times have you actually seen it? At least ten, maybe? So we should, I think I saw this first one. I was like ten. Do you watch it once a year? Maybe. Yeah. Well, then I'd, if I watch it once a year, I'd see it at 15. Oh, right, you're not my age. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny line. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I'm trying to remember what. There's like a what blank spot. What happened from when you were 10? No, 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 no. What happened in this movie from like. There's like just a blank spot in it. Because it's all about like stock trading for a Yeah. Bit. There's like a. There's maybe like. I'd say maybe like a half hour. Where it's just kind of about like Valentine and stocks. Yeah, and it's kind of just boring. I said the one part where I was like, "It's like, not boring," but you know what I mean. If like, you're seeing this for the stuff. first time, you don't ever think Dan Aykroyd's coming back. There's a one scene that goes on for about a half an hour, and it's yeah. just Valentine. It's just Eddie Murphy. It's strange that Dan Aykroyd got first build, but he is kind of the. I mean, he was a bigger star. At the yeah, time. plus he's also kind of like you can tell his character is yeah. the main character. I think it's weird that Jamie Lee Curtis doesn't get billing on the cover. It's just crazy to me to think that. I don't know. It's old. It's 
good movie though. I'm gonna bring it up because it's still sitting with me. But the train scene, and it's such a long scene, it's a great scene. Yes, talk but about the They train. say that Beeks has to get on the train from Washington DC to go Beaks. to Philadelphia. Beeks. Clarence Beeks. Clarence Beeks. He has to get on the plane from Washington DC where he is. Who's the principal from the Rifles Club, if you're wondering? He's also in Die Hard. Yeah, he is. But, but he has to get I on the train. Him in that. He has to get the train on Washington DC and he has to go to Philadelphia. I hand think over. in last year when we were watching Die Hard, I think in the video we were talking about the one cop and I was like, he's the principal from Die Hard, or from The Breakfast Club. I think I mentioned that. So then he has to hand over the crop reports two days early to Duke and Duke. Okay. But Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, Jimmy Lee Curtis, and the other guy. Yes. They all get on the train to meet with Beaks in disguise. So that means that they went to Washington, D.C. And bought disguises. No, and got on the train. They're in Philadelphia, yes. but they needed a rendezvous oh, and yeah. meet him. So they had to go to D.C. to get on the train. I've never with him. thought about I that. I said that. I was sitting there talking to Dad about it for five minutes. I'm like, why is no one thinking about this? They <laughs> drove or took a train. It, it's very. They could have just taken the train. They could have just got a long trip. Yeah. yeah, but then the party didn't start till D.C. I guess. So they would have had to deal with that party the whole. How long is that train ride? Amazon. How long is a train ride from Washington D.C. to Philadelphia? The flight time between Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia is approximately one hour. All right, it's only three hours. Okay. So that was like a six-hour trip they wasted. Huh. Who cares? Also, Beaks, before that... It was the 80s. It was new to everyone. <laughs> Beaks, don't steal my line. Beaks also says that they're going to meet at like 2100, and the or pen, point of penetration is 2100, but they have to <laughs> meet... <laughs> it's a weird line. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> then they have to meet at 2400? What's he doing in those three hours? Or is that... That's the train. That's the train. You get on at 2100. That was so then, right. So then they wow. got on at what, 1800? Yes. God, what a day. Yeah. What a movie. It's really good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's one of those movies where you see Dan Erica goes through hell, but you know, oh, it gets so much better for him. Yeah. Because he only loses, technically, he loses like a week of his life. He has a very bad week. Yeah. Well, no, it's a few months. Because it starts around Thanksgiving. No, they say that. No. At the, right at the start, when he's in j the jail cell, when Eddie Murphy's in jail cell, it's past Thanksgiving. No, the guy says. The guy, the one guy, when he's Wait, picking, he's like, uh, "You're gonna talk of this jive this close to Thanksgiving." Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's because it's very Christmassy. No, oh, at the start, I think it's right after. Thanksgiving. At the start, I know. it's right before Thanksgiving, and then it continues through there. I don't think so. Yeah. They bail him out. They bail him out. It's, it's a few months. And it's a like couple the, months. It's not. It is. They bail him out, and then like two days later, it's Christmas because he wakes up. On Christmas Day, and he's like, oh, it's all a dream. He wouldn't be dreaming for a month. No, that's a few weeks. Or months. He could not have had, if it was a dream, it wasn't a dream, we should say that it is real life. He wakes up and thinks it's a dream. It would. He would not have think a month went by in a also, dream. his face would still hurt and stuff because he was bruised. It's within the course of a week. It is not no, a it's, month. It's a it couple is, months. It is not a couple months. It is. No. Ooh, going for broke. I was going to say, I really think uh, the what the finale of this movie is well yeah. it's pure chaos yeah. I'm saying that but it's just the th uh, the item that they buy and sell is just kind of like the answer to a trivia Frozen question concentrated orange juice yeah it's like if you not a fan of this movie you would never know that C if we weren't OJ. doing a video on it if I just watched it I wouldn't remember that you wouldn't? no I don't think you, you could have OJ I think you could have you couldn't have asked me what did they screw them on I maybe could have got it but it's the, frozen or concentrated orange juice well, I know it's just I wouldn't have gotten the frozen concentrated pork bellies. I know it's for sure orange juice though. This is the outro. It's the part where we do the outro. Like this, you can give it a thumbs up if you enjoy. It really helps the channel out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit that notification jingle bell so you get us all the time. It's free and you can always change your mind. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Stardust, or Twitter, you can at Battery one And I've been Lex Doll. You can follow me on Instagram at Strange Atheist Jerk and on Twitter at Ed Doll. If you want to follow the channel as a collective, you can follow us on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Punk Rock Blues. And you can pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punkrockblues. What's tomorrow? It's not that many used, though, so don't just type in Punk Rock Blues, not Punk Rock Blues. Chuck us a buck, or two, or twelve. Three, or nine. <laughs> nine! What's tomorrow? Tomorrow, day ten, it's Arthur Christmas. Famously, a song by a bunch of bands. Arthur Christmas, give us your money. Don't mess around with your silly toys. Bye. Uh, we're watching this tonight. Bye.